Well, here we are. It's a really exciting day. We're in Stratford-on-Avon, my hometown, and it's Shakespeare's birthday. It's 400 years to the day. Well, I suppose it's his death day, actually, because he was born on the same day in 1564, and he died in 1616. So today, we are actually celebrating his death. And we're celebrating it, as we always do, with a big parade. So we're in the streets of Stratford. The crowds are waiting for all the dignitaries to come along. The flags will be unfurled and the bands will play. And the parade will start. Stratford. And gosh, he knows his wine. <laughs> Drink a lot of it. Look, Morris man, extraordinaire. But you're not in your bells. No, no. Here's mother over there. Oh, hello. Do you remember uh, Morris? Yes, 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 yes. 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 lovely to see you. I'm going to put my sunglasses on. It's so sunny. This is a traditional dance, isn't That's it? That's right. Yeah. And you are a Morris man. I'm a Morris man. I'm with the Illmans and Morris and um, some of our side also perform with this side today, so it's St George's Day, so they'll... they'll um... It is, and I'm a big supporter, so get filming, please. <laughs> at the end of this parade and then all the people can join in with their flowers to go to church. Of course you have. From New Orleans, of course. One of the greatest cities. One of the greatest cities. I can't it's wait to visit. I know. And you've got a little bit of sunshine. It's beautiful. Right it's beautiful day. Superman. You remember Superman with Christopher Reeve? Oh, of course. There were three villains. Yes. And two of them were men, and one of them was a woman in black thigh-length boots and short cropped it hair. It seemed like most of my villains are women, too. Honey? Yeah. And they wear thigh-length black leather well, boots? Hey, oh, no, they I love don't, him. But I, I mean, hey. <laughs> That's where we could be going for lunch. Um, but we're not this year for lots of reasons, but they're all filing in. You can see the tent, they're going to have a nice lunch, and Sir Trevor Nunn is going to be given an award for being fat. They should be giving an award to me, shouldn't they? Citizens Advice Bureau are head hostel there, and um, as you all know, I'm a big supporter of, so I'm delighted to see Sue here today. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, so we must donate and give money to Citizens Advice because they need our money, because they help us and we must help them. We're a local charity. We depend on help from people who support us. So there you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sarah. This, of course, is our local church, because um, we live just over there. And it's where everybody in the family's been married and everything's happened here. And it's where my family come on Sundays to worship. And of course, um, it's where Shakespeare is buried, which is very exciting. And I'm sure you've all seen it before. And all of these people over here, all this line of people, are lining up to go into the church and to go past Shakespeare's grave and to put their flowers on it. Prince Charles is coming here later on to open the royal toilets, the royal flush, we're all calling it. So he's going to be here at about five o'clock this afternoon, but nobody knows that, which is great. So we're going to see him going in. It's very exciting for us, because I live just over there, which is brilliant. <laughs> So I'm here in Holy Trinity Church where the ordinary folk of Stratford and tourists and the like, we have joined the long procession and waited to come into the church where we're going to lay flowers if we want, or more to the point, we're going to look at Shakespeare's tomb where we will see the wonderful flowers which will be mountains high laid on Shakespeare's tomb. This is where my family sit. Always the same seat, right here. I don't know why we never sit anywhere else, but we always sit there. Goodness knows, if somebody's sitting in our seat, there's trouble. I didn't get married in this church. My sister did, and most of our family got married in this church, and um, christened here. 
I didn't because when I got married I was in the middle of filming, or rather I just finished filming Superman, and we wanted to keep it a secret. So I got mar married in a tiny little church um, outside of Stratford, Ludington Church, which has been in other films that we've done, and uh, that way we were able to keep it relatively quiet. If it had been here, it would have been chaos. So, But it's still our local church, which is nice. And what's happened now is that the procession, as I said, has come in, they've laid their flowers, and um, people have gone out the side door and they've gone straight off for a rather fabulous lunch. I will be going off for a ham sandwich. I'm not going to the fabulous lunch, but um, it'll be a fabulous ham sandwich. Wasn't that great? Not very often you get to see that, unless, of course, you're looking at the news and these sort of people. <laughs> Hello, I'm one of those sort of people. Yeah. Would you speak yes, with me? I am an actress, but I'm actually a Stratfordian. So I live just round the corner, and uh, this is the best day of all for us here in Stratford. <laughs> can you take one? Yeah, yeah. Of course I can. Have you got them all? All wine drinkers. These are my people, okay? Have a glass for me. Bye. I know they This is the best tree in the whole wide world. We've all climbed it and been on it over the years. I was a bit worried it was going to be knocked down when they built this, but of course they've saved it. It's just glorious. I don't think I could still climb up it. Well, if I did climb up it, I'd never get down there. There's all nationalities here. I don't know where he's from, but he's from somewhere foreign. Over there's the ferry, which is a chain link, and you wind it to get across, and as a child, I spent many a happy hour going back and forth across it. It cost a penny every time I did it. And my mum would give me some pennies while she went along with friends to the Dirty Duck, which is the pub across the way. So while they sat there drinking, I would go across the river and then have the poor man, so I was only the only customer, as I recall, that would go back and forth. He'd have to turn around and bring me back again. He got very, very cross. He didn't appreciate it. and I. I don't think I went on the ferry for a long while. But anyway, then, as I got older, uh, went off to Hollywood. When I came back, one of the exciting things about being in Hollywood and getting to be known as Stratford was that they used to give me free rides across the ferry. I don't think they will anymore. And I don't think it's a penny, sadly. Outside of the Royal Shakespeare Theatre, where sadly I have never performed, but my goodness me, I've seen many a play here. And tonight there's an enormous uh, concert going on, which we're very excited about because it's going to be filmed live for BBC Two. So we're able to watch it at home in the comfort of our own houses if we're not lucky enough to be invited inside there, which I'm not. Can you believe it? It's getting a little chilly now, but I wanted you to see the flag that have all been unfurled. And when I was a little girl, until actually until I was a teenager, every single flag represented a country. And we used to have these wonderful um, the representatives come in national costume. So as a kid, you would see everybody in national costume. Now it's changed a bit, and as you can see, we've still got countries represented, but nothing like as many as we used to do. And it's a lot more about Shakespeare now, um, and not so many, if any, national costumes. I'm in my national costume, as you can see. Sarah does this go shopping. And we also have great excitement because Prince Charles is going to come. I don't think he's actually going to open the loose, but the word is, and I have it on very good authority, that he's going to be blessing the loose. Maybe he's even going to be having a royal wee. That's a clever pun I've just made there. Here he comes. He's going to talk to... Of course, lots of tourists he's going to talk to. The likes of me are shoved to the back, but that's okay, because I've met the Queen. Um, or rather, I've been presented to the Queen. But I'd love to shake Charles's hand. So all in all, a really joyous day. The clouds have cleared, the sun's come out, which is a miracle, because yesterday was freezing and miserable, but today's been thoroughly enjoyable, and the crowds have enjoyed it. My mum, I'm very pleased to say, in her 95th year, she's managed to come and watch the parade. Of course, in the past, she was always part of the parade. So it was really important to get her here today. And here I am able to come because not being in Los Angeles, I've often missed it living back in LA. But this time I'm able to be in the crowd and enjoy all the fun and the sun and the laughter. And um, I'm just enjoying being in Stratford and enjoying being a Stratfordian. Happy birthday!